Yeah, I got this gas engine here, and um, I was wondering if anybody could identify the brand of the gas engine it is. Just give me a second to get it off here. Okay, here. Gas engine. I got it from some guy from the club. Uh, 40 bucks. I'm not sure what it is. It has a Walbro carburetor on it. And I believe Dolmar is the ignition. I put the prop on there. If anybody can identify this engine by looking at it. Anybody? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do a Butterboy, uh, aka Gary, Dr. Toon. I'm gonna uh, bolt this on a piece of wood, and I'm gonna try and run it by the way he told me to, by hand cranking it. So I'm gonna give that a shot, and I hope it works. Alright, give me a second to bolt this on a piece of wood. Alright, here we go. I got it bolted to a piece of wood. I got my electric starter just in case here. Right, let me just see what I'm gonna try and do what, uh, uh, Dr. Tuna was doing by putting the magnet right where it's about to start and see if that'll work. Got the choke on right now. Let's we'll see if that works. Yeah, let's I got a piece of board here, bolt bungee to a cement wall that I got here in my backyard. You see, right where the magnet's about to touch, there's compression. See, right, that's where it starts to get hard, and the compression is like right about here. That's where the magnet is, I mean, and the compression's right about here. So, right when it goes by, it's going by right now. See, when I try to line the magneto, the little square, in between these two magnets here, there's like no compression, so kind of, I guess in a way, I want to say it removes my leverage, but I don't know if that would be a good word. Because there's nothing to really push. I'm going to cheat and put some uh, starting code in it. I think I figured out the problem. It's because I'm using a glow fuel tank and you know the rubber inside, it's not meant for gas, so it's all falling apart inside. So the hose came off. So I got, um, I think the, I'm putting it by the clunk, but I'm not because the hose fell off. So I got I tilted the tank forward and let's see if I can get it started. Let's do it like this.
I, I waited a few minutes to see if uh, that yellow starter uh, would cool down. I guess it cooled down by now. I got the fuel going through it. I'm just going to keep doing it like this for a few minutes. Or it keeps doing what it's doing a couple of hours. I have another question, if anybody knows. What's the best part to grab on the propeller to start it? At the tip, closer to the end, or closer to the base of where it is? Because it feels like I, uh, I put, I put more energy, uh, it's, I spin it faster when I do it close to the bottom, so anybody knows it's tempting. It did it. Thanks, Dr. Jim. That worked. Thanks a lot, Gary. Uh, I'm gonna try and see what uh, if it'll work again. Now most of my money will go into running the engine instead of buying new starters. I got it running once, thanks. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll give it a break. Anyway, I got it running by cranking it over with my hand. Thanks again to uh, Dr. June.